Hi guys, in today's video I will show you how to set uh, subdomains for your domain uh, that you can get for free in ClickFunnels and I will also tell you why it is good to do that. My name is Agnieszka and this channel is all about affiliate marketing and making money online so if you're interested in these subjects make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications. The video is coming right up. Okay guys, so let's talk about different possibilities that you can have uh, for web addresses for your funnel. So there are three options that you can uh, use. So first of all, you can purchase a different domain for each and every funnel in ClickFunnels, uh, but you can also do it um, without spending any additional costs and then it is using the subdirectories or using subdomains. So subdirectory is when you have your domain slash something. And this is the easiest thing to do in ClickFunnels because all you have to do uh, is connect uh, your funnel to a selected domain and then ClickFunnels give you the random ending, so what comes after the slash. Uh, and of course you can customize it um, and change the name so that it is clear what kind of funnel it is. So it is of course a very good uh, option to do. But what I like to uh, do is to uh, create separate subdomains for um, different funnels because then I, I think it looks more clear that these are separate uh, pages, uh, separate funnels, separate products. So a subdomain is when you have something, your subdomain dot your domain. And I will show you now on my computer how to set it up. Of course, uh, it demands a little bit more uh, steps than uh, setting a subdirectory, but it is really easy to do. Just follow what I do on my computer. Okay guys, so we are inside of my ClickFunnels account uh, in the domains section and uh, we're gonna click on here and edit um, and I just want to tell you that I started to record it in Safari and it didn't work, I don't know why I couldn't press edit. Uh, so now I'm on Chrome, so in case it doesn't work just use Chrome. And here uh, in the settings we go into edit zone records and click expand and the same thing I couldn't open it now in Safari although it worked before so it must be some bug I don't know but in case it doesn't work in one um, web browser just change it for another one and here in edit zone records we go uh, we're gonna go and add a new one uh, C name record and here we're gonna type the name so the name of the subdomain so what you want to have in front of your main domain so I'm gonna go for training and the value should be always target dot clickfunnels.com and we save it Now we can go and check and we and we can see that it has been added. It's the C name training and it's pointing to target clickfunnels.com. So the next thing we want to do is go to our domains, the main domain section. And now we want to press on the add new domain. And from this section, we are going to choose add your own domain. And here we're typing our new domain. So training your freedom funnels com at domain. And here it's telling you uh, all these things about adding the C name record so we already did it and we can press I've done it okay and as you see uh, our domain has been verified and it has been added and you can associate funnel uh, straight away here or um, you can do it later 
So what we want to do now is add the SSL uh, certificate for that subdomain. So we're going to press edit and we go to SSL, press expand and go and add SSL. And this is it. They say they have initiated the SSL setup process and it will usually take 10 to 15 minutes before it's um, completed. So it works exactly the same as for your major domain, domain that you have set up in the beginning. And after the process has finished, you will see uh, your new dom subdomain with the green lock here and it's going to be ready to go and you can then associate it with any funnel that you want. Okay guys, so I hope you found that video helpful. Uh, I encourage you to subscribe for the free affiliate marketing training. I leave the link below in the description box. And uh, yes, comment what do you think about it, do, what do you prefer to use for your funnels, uh, separate domains, subdirectories or subdomains. Uh, like this video if you liked it, uh, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.